So, you're interested in getting a pair of 450s for yourself. Let's take a quick look and see if it's really worth the hype. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Sneaker Circle. It is your boy Danny. As always with the reviews, with the size guides. I don't know if I'm gonna do legit checks on these cause yo, these can seem kinda hard, but I'll try my best. Don't, don't hold me to it. Cause again, this is another pair courtesy of Carl the Cook, my bestest friendo. Love that man. And let's just get straight into these. Now I know these were a very memed shoe. They're literally the Yeezy dumplings. That's what a lot of people call them. And that's what they'll always be to me. Just like the Yeezy Crocs at the beginning, a lot of people just had a lot of hate on these, a ton of hate. And it is weird seeing them almost in like a, a Nike slide box, which it's, it's strange, but it kind of adds to the, to the thinness of the shoe. This is an eight and a half. And I will tell you guys now, if you are true to size in most of your sneakers, the cage on these is really narrow, so you're gonna wanna have to size up. Some people, if you have a really wide foot, I'd suggest sizing up an entire size. And when we get into the shoe, I will show you exactly what I mean by that. So let's get these out of the box first. Uh, from the wonderful world of Yeezy, we have <laughs> these dumpling 450s. And I gotta admit the colors on these are pretty, they're pretty hard. They're, they're really nice, but they're on brand with what Yeezy and Kanye does, you know? When I say Yeezy, I mean the brand. So getting these out really quick. Here we have the size tags that come with it. And yo, this, <laughs> these are some of the strangest shoes I have ever seen. But on foot, they are so dope, so dope. These have nothing inside. So let me see if I could give these some shape to show you guys exactly, exactly what I'm talking about. So here we go. This is the 450. I put a shoe tree in there just to give it a little bit more of a structure and shape to show what I'm talking about. But the whole shoe is like, what, 60% sole and the rest is just the knit upper. The color of the laces are beautiful. I love, I love this, this color tone. I can get as close as I can. It's almost the same type of color tone you would see on Moon Rocks, but since, you know, obviously Moon Rocks, the whole shoe is that color, it's a, it's a lot more visible, visibly pleasing. When it comes to this one, we do have basically a beige throughout the whole shoe. Kind of similar to the, the sand foam runners that are releasing next week. Hopefully your boy touches on those. Hopefully. And yo, the whole structure of the shoe is just, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So coming in at a $200 retail, these were only available on Yeezy Supply and they came in both men's and kids sizing. No other platform really got these. So you weren't even able to buy these off of Adidas by itself. And I'll try to, I'll try to show some pictures of people that have these on feet. Um, if you browse goat listings, I think you can like see people that submit photos. Keep an eye out for the photos I submit. But yo, the whole shoe is just crazy. On the insole, you do have the Yeezy branding and with Adidas, let's get as close as possible. But then you also have another branding right there, the Ortholite. And I guess that's the base of the shoe that gives it kind of the comfy and the structureness that you see. Now without the insole, you can see how it kind of bends upwards, kind of like that. But when you put it on, it flexes straight. Let me show you on this one. And it's really form fitting to your feet. So this is why I'm saying that if you want to get a pair of these and you have a wider foot, you might want to size up a full size. So like look, if you're a 10, maybe go to an 11. If I ever get these for myself, I'm probably gonna have to go to an 11. And we are supposed to see different colorways releasing in the future, hopefully. I could see these releasing in like a black pair or just a different colorway, kind of like how the foam runners are. And don't be surprised if these jump in, in prices, just like foam runners. For reference, the original colorway of the foam runners, the Yeezy Crocs from the wonderful world of Kanye, they retailed at $80. They sat at like $400, $300 for a really good while, but now currently they're touching 800 in certain sizes and that's, that's insane to me. These are sitting at 450, if I'm not mistaken, and you kind of get the same vibe off of these sneakers it's, it's a nice sneaker that is supposed to be thrown on worn comfortably and it's supposed to like be perfectly form fitted to your feet 
that's, that's that's all i can really say about it the prime knit isn't too crazy and seeing the sock liner you would assume that this would be like the tightest part that wraps around your ankle but it's technically not the actual cage of the sneaker itself so everything you see here is what really molds your foot so when you have your foot in there it's like a, almost like it, it kind of hugs you the cage does its job you know everything else is what well, seems like a prime knit which is a dead material when it comes to the new 350s that are going to come out if you guys want videos on that just let me know and yeah it's kind of crazy i like how on the heel you have almost a different shade i don't know what the purpose of that is but this part's probably meant to stretch a little bit more and that's why it's a little darker because the material's bunched up a little more or it just could just be a different knit completely see it could be a completely different knit but yo i gotta admit if you can get your hands on these and they've piqued your interest just go for them if you can't get over the fact that they look like dumplings then don't go for them i don't know what to tell you uh you know what? that's gonna be it for this review guys i really wanted them to compare them to the foam runners but i do not have a pair of foam runners I, I just don't so i'm gonna see you guys in the next video before i go though feel free to you know like the video help out the channel subscribe if you're new if you want to see more like personal reviews from someone who just collects rather than resells um i'm the guy for you and if you want help legit checking your stuff i'll try my best i'll take reference photos of these as well but i might admit Adidas are kind of hard to legit check, especially the way they've just been crazily faked, you know? Um, before I go, before I go, it's kind of crazy that this box, they don't really fit them to the best like degree. You actually kind of have to like squeeze them in there. See like how they have to like cave in on each other just to fit. But it just goes to show that the entire shoe, the structure is based around the sole, which in my opinion, it's cool. It could be kind of comfy. Give them a shot. I'm telling you, just give them a shot. If you're remotely interested in the sneaker, buy them. Just go buy them. That's 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 all I gotta say. Before they spike, because if this is another, this is the only colorway we're gonna get for the rest of 2021. We don't see another colorway for 2022. These are gonna spike in price, and you're gonna, you're gonna feel salty. I'm gonna feel salty, which is why I'm saying it. All right, that's it. I'm done with this review. Love you guys. Peace.